Pitcher fans, what a great turnout. So thankful for all of you to uh, come and make tonight part of your uh, uh, week. Thanks for being here. It's a fabulous crowd, uh, vastly exceeding our expectations. Love seeing you uh, all crowded in here. Thank you for coming. Um, I'd love to take a bunch of time to talk about all the great things going on down at the uh, Indiana University Department of Athletics, but my role is limited to focusing on just one of those wonderful things, and it's my great pleasure to introduce our special speaker and the new head football coach at our school. Let me do give a bit of an introduction and background on him since this is our first event here and our first event on our statewide tour. Uh, Kevin Wilson was a three-sport star in high school and the valedictorian of his high school class. He went to the University of North Carolina as a walk-on and ended up with a scholarship and two degrees from that university. A, a bachelor's degree and a master's degree in mathematics. He's a smart guy. He spent 12 years with Randy Walker at Miami, Ohio, and then Northwestern. And during several of those years at Miami, Ohio, he was the offensive coordinator to someone named Terry Hepner as the defensive coordinator. second year at Northwestern, he took what had been a downtrodden program, was part of a, a Big Ten championship team, football team, in just his second year at Northwestern. He left there, and spent nine years with Bob Stoops at Oklahoma. He's not a job hopper, guys. He's 12 years with one coach and nine years with another. And at Oklahoma, all he did was lead an offense that three times uh, led the nation in offense. Uh, in 2008, set a record for scoring 60 or more points in five straight games. He was twice the Frank Royals Assistant of the Year uh, finalist and won that award in 2008. And in 2008, he was also named by the uh, National Football Foundation of Oklahoma the Merv Johnson Coaching with Integrity Person of the Year. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm so thrilled that Kevin Wilson is not only here to be with you tonight, but he's here at Indiana University because he's bringing the kind of mental toughness the kind of can-do attitude, the kind of winning approach that I think portends wonderful things for our program. So without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, your coach, my coach, our coach, Kevin Wilson. It's great to be here. I appreciate the kind words there by, uh, by Mr. Glass. And, and again, excited to be here. It's the first one. And it's very fitting to start right here in, uh, in downtown Indy where the hub of all the Hoosiers are, even though Bloomington's our campus. And our, and our home, and so many of you guys are from this region with the population. So great to be here, number one. Great to be here in Indianapolis. Can you hear me, Ben? Let's talk about a couple of program goals now. You know, I don't boast about things, but our goal is to be a championship team. And one of the ways to be a championship team is, is again, it's reality. And it's realizing you're not as far off as you think you are. And those people you think are pretty good aren't quite as good as you think you are. I mean, I'm not as impressed with some other people as you guys are. That was one of our deals in Oklahoma. I mean, we weren't very impressed with anyone. And, and I don't know if we were quite as good as everybody thought we were, but we acted like we were good, worked like we were good, and that's what we're going to try to do as we go through the season. So I know the Big Ten's a daunting schedule, some great programs, but I look forward to seeing our guys compete. I haven't studied them yet. I'm studying our team. We're going to master our team, make our piece of clay the best it can this year. We'll worry about those opponents when we get to them, but we will finish the season, the Big Ten does, in Lucas Oil, and it's our goal to be over there. Uh, as we wrap this up real quick, again, like I started, it's great to be here in, in, in Indianapolis. You're the hub of, our, of, of, of this state. It's the hub, even though Bloomington is, our, is a beautiful campus. I saw it rated by the magazine just came out, the 15th most beautiful campus in the country and the, the number one public institution. The rest were some private schools, I think. So beautiful town, phenomenal community. We're excited to, to move and be a part of that, raise our family there. Excited to be a part of a school that has greatness in so many areas and I think some great potential in football. So we're excited for what we can build. In doing that, we've got to do a great job here in, in Indiana. And you guys got to help us recruiting. And the best thing you can give us is a great attitude, a high expectation. And when you're talking to kids about Indiana, we need the best athletes, the best football players coming here to IU. So you guys help us out there with that. Okay, we're competitive. We're looking at some outstanding players. We're going to recruit this state hard. I don't think any school can beat the state institution, whether it be Indiana or what state you're in. You guys know that you're alums. Most of you are from the state. You grew up as Hoosiers, you grew up as, as passionate fans and rabid fans for your school, your state school. And again, I don't know if any school can beat the state school. Career-wise, professionally, contacts, relationships, mentoring, people that can help you. 
don't know if you can beat your state school. So we're going to sell it really hard to those kids in this area. Also recruit our, our surrounding areas hard. we got 13 kids on our team right now from Indianapolis. A bunch of them from the suburbs around. We signed a few. We just had Tandy Ross, James Brewer, both drafted, both uh, kids from Ben Davis, Warren Central, two Indianapolis natives with those fourth round draft picks. Had a bunch of draft picks lately. And guys, when I watch the team, I don't think the talent is as far off as our mindset and attitude. That's what we've been working on. Excited about the season. They've got a lot of things in place, got some things to work on. But I think we have to set up and we can have a great season for you. So again, no, no false predictions or no guarantees, but we're gonna have a lot of fun. We're gonna work hard. We expect you to be out there and be excited for us and kind of ramble long enough. So with that, do I need to take any questions, Fred, or are we good? We're good? Appreciate you being here, guys. And again, we're way up to you to say hi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.